According to Russian sanitary official Anna Popova, Russia recently has confirmed first human infections with the avian influenza a virus in the world. Scientists isolated the genetic material of this bird flu virus in seven workers of a poultry farm in South Russia, where an outbreak among fowls was recorded in December. The official said the infections did not expand further. All the seven people now feel well and they had only mild clinical symptoms. How big a threat would the reassortant bird flu virus pose to human beings? Is a new bird flu pandemic on the way? What preventative measures can we take? Nobel laureate Professor Peter Doherty might give us a hint on these questions. There's, a, there's an H5N8 virus. It's causing cases in uh, people in Russia. You know, we've had these these happen uh, periodically over the last uh, 20 years or so. We've had the H5N1 viruses that kill quite a number of people. We had H7N9 that killed a lot of people in China, came across from chickens into humans, didn't spread between humans. H5N1 killed a lot of people infected from chickens didn't spread between humans i think we've had some h9n2 there are probably other ones as well so this looks like another one of those there's always the possibility with one of these viruses that it will somehow get together in the same cell with a human cell one a human virus one that normally affects humans and because of the way the influenza genome is organized in eight different bits you can get a new, new reassortant virus and you can get a virus out which is completely novel but now infects humans and spreads between humans. So the, the fact that we've got a chicken virus infecting humans is not particularly unusual. What would be dangerous is if that virus changes in humans and starts to spread between humans. Then we'd have a new pandemic strain. With the bird flu, you monitor the people concerned very closely. Uh, you watch closely in those regions. You try and get the virus out of the chicken populations. You can do that because you can kill the chickens and you remove the threat. And then you, uh, and you just try and contain the situation as well as you can. And you watch it very closely. You have your public health people keeping a very close watch on it to see where those infections are coming from. As soon as there's a hint, that the infections are going from people to people, then you react very, very strongly. I would suggest the first thing you do is you uh, quarantine those people and shut down the passenger air travel from that region.